Welcome to Bunix Investment Group. In this video, we are going to talk about a London session strategy. The London session offers a great deal of volatility than the Asian session. However, it's the hardest session to trade because market makers usually trap for the war day liquidity. In this video, we'll learn about an easy strategy we can use in the London session. But before we go through, make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out our free Telegram channel where we share free analysis thrice a week. Stay up to the end of this video where I will give you all the free resources you need to trade this London session. So here's the daily structure that we'll be following. We have the Asian session, right? That offers a ranging period or a ranging phase as an accumulation phase. From that Asian session, we have this gray area, which is a session changeover period from the Asian side to the London side. So in this colorless area, that is where we actually have the London session. Then this gray area is now a session changeover from the London to the US session. So we are going to talk about this colorless area, which is the London session. Here's the strategy definition for the London session strategy. The Asian session works as the trading day opener. And after the Asian session comes, an inducement phase called the session changeover will also come, as I have shown you earlier. We are not interested in trading in the session changeover period because there are inducements, sometimes hitting of stops. Actually, there will be irrational movements of the markets. So our entries will come after the London opens as explained below. For break, buy criteria, we actually uh, see this on the M15 time frame. Then we need to see price break out of the Asian session to the upside. So this is an Asian session. We need to see price breaking out to the upside. Then London session must actually issue a pullback to the Asian range and offer a candlestick reversal pattern. So after the session changeover period, we need to see price pulling back to the Asian range, which is this one, and then offer us a candlestick reversal pattern for possible continuation to the upside. Sell criteria, we need price to break down to the downside like this. We have Asian range, we need price to go down. Then after the session changeover period, which is this one, we need to see price going back to the Asian range, offer us a candlestick reversal pattern for possible going down. So let's now see this on the charts, which is the most important part of this video. So this is pound against the dollar, which we are going to use to illustrate this particular strategy. As I've shown you earlier, these blue boxes are actually marking a period of the Asian session. From there, we've said we need to see a breakout of the market outside the Asian range, right? In this case, we can see the market actually w was chopping and then broke out. After breaking out, uh, the breakout was actually done soon after the session changeover, which is this gray box. And then later we can see a candlestick reversal pattern being issued in the Asian range during the London session. Our entry was going to be at closure of this candlestick on the M15 timeframe and the market went our direction. In this case, we can also see the market actually broke out of the Asian range, which is this one, it broke out at this point. Then after the session changeover in the London session, we can see the market coming back to give us a candlestick reversal pattern within the Asian range. In this case, we can also see that the market broke out soon after the session changeover, which is this one. It actually went below this level. And then in the Asian session, in the London session, sorry, we had a candlestick reversal pattern. At closure of this, we actually call this a three candlestick reversal pattern. One, two, and three at closure of this candle. That is where we were going to make our entry, right? This case, this always happens in the markets. Sometimes they won't do what we are expecting. We can see a beautiful breakout of the Asian range. After that, a session changeover was issued. 
in the London session, we were expecting to see a pullback to the Asian range, right? And then a continuation of the market trend. In this case, you can see the pullback was not sufficient to pull to the Asian range to give us an entry. And they went straight away. In this case, we may probably going to be, uh, it was probably going to be a loser. Why? Because it was tricky to call this a breakout. If we had called this a breakout, it means we were not going to get a trade. The trade which was going to be issued was definitely going to be a buy. Unfortunately, the buy occurred outside the Asian range. However, if we called this a breakout, it was also correct with what they did in the markets. And our pullback was going to be this one and we were going to sell and our stop loss was going to be hit since the market went the other side. In this case, a breakout was issued. After a breakout, a pullback to the Asian range was actually issued and the market went in our direction. So basically, that is what you'll be doing, spotting the Asian range, breaking out of the Asian range, seeing the session change over. And after that, you need to see a candlestick reversal pattern within the Asian range. On that note, we come to the end of this video. And as promised in the first part of this video, that I'll give you free resources to trade this strategy. I'll give you a template that actually marks these parts. Use the link that I've left down in the description below so that you can get hold of it. See you on the next one.